But there is one broken bit of the system, and that's that one, which I would break for visual impact, but the theatre have told me not to, um, which is tax relief. So what am I talking about here? You put your money into a pension, and because you're taking your earnings from now into retirement, you don't pay tax now. So you earn a pound today. Normally, you'd pay your tax on a pound today, but you're, because you're deferring it into retirement, you pay no tax on that pound today. You pay it in retirement. And that costs the taxpayer today a fortune. In theory, they get most of it back when you retire, but it costs a fortune. And what successive governments have done is mucked about with it, changed it year after year after year, changed this limit, changed that limit, changed the taper, changed the threshold, all that stuff, which has just meant nobody knows where they're going. Nobody knows what the rules are going to be next year. Nobody can plan. And pensions ought to be a 50-year business. And yet you don't know from one year to the next what the rules are going to be. So if I had a plea, it would be not to muck about with tax relief. But just to quickly mention, and I'm going to throw it over in a second to to some questions. Um, What might the government do on tax relief? Now, you sometimes hear them say that we should have... In fact, there's a story in the press today, in the FT today... A guy called Matthew Taylor, think tank head, saying we should have what's called a flat rate of tax relief. So instead of if you earn more, because you pay more tax, you get more tax relief when you push the money later, everyone should get 30% was his argument. I do not think the government will do that. Simply don't think they will. A future government, other governments are available. Um, I think a future government might well, but I don't think this government will. Because if you give everyone the same amount of tax relief rather than according to what they earn... You create lots of lower income gainers, which is great, and a smaller number of higher income losers. And as a politician, I gather, you might think that creating lots of gainers is a really good thing because that's lots of votes, isn't it? But the gains to the gainers are quite small. And nobody really understands tax relief anyway. So you change something they don't really understand, they get an extra pound or two a month, they don't know what you've done, and they won't thank you for it. Gainers do not thank you, I know. In fact, I wouldn't be standing here if they did. Um, because, you know, so small numbers of, large numbers of small gainers won't thank you, but cutting tax relief to 30% would create a small number of very large losers. And they would be straight on to their local MP, and the government, have to remember, has a negative majority at the moment. The government depends on the votes of the Ulster Union, uh, Democratic Unionists, which c- cost about 100 million a shot, I think, um, just, just to have a majority. So the government doesn't really have a majority. To do big, bold, radical reform of tax relief, I don't think it's going to happen. What I do think they'll do is keep slicing and dicing. Take the annual allowance down from 40,000 to 35 to 30. The tapered annual allowance just isn't complicated enough. Um, so they'll probably knock about with that, make the 150, 125, you know, lots more messing around. And what I think we need to make that chair stable is stability, funnily enough, is to leave that bit alone or at least to, you know, to know where we're going with it, not to just dip into tax relief every year for a bit of cash.